Hi everyone, it's Anne. Welcome to my channel, Head Trip Creations, where I create mixed media portrait art like this gal. I love using all kinds of media and lately I'm working on watercolors. So I incorporated watercolors into my arsenal of mixed media for this piece. And I love the way I got all kinds of different textures and how I use different layers. I love all the colors. And I love how I was able to throw in a few wow factors. So I love the way she turned out. I can't wait to show you how I did it. The video will start now. Enjoy. So as you can see, I already did the sketch and I am adding a little bit of yellow to her skin tone on her face and neck and wetting the background to prepare it for watercolors. The palette is fuchsia, turquoise, yellow, blue, um, a little bit of lime green, orange. And so not only am I applying it in various areas, but I'm overlapping them to get tertiary colors. So all of these colors, they play off of each other so well. They complement each other. And it doesn't look like much at this phase, but it's the first layer. And it's a really important layer because everything that I add to it after that has more impact. And I dry in between so it doesn't get too oversaturated or muddy. You might hear a lot of noise around me. Um, there was a parade and there's music in the other room. So here I am drying and adding some colors to her face like orange for contouring as well as purple to her eyes. Want to get those shadows. And I am really just learning watercolors so it's new territory for me adding some blue to the white of her eyes drawing and now with the mechanical pencil doing some sketching and some shading and this is jane davenport's finishing line pen so i'm doing the pupils and the irises and the the lids got to get that black in there that contrast and now adding some lines to her hair kind of going around the color blocks just again to add definition and contrast lower lids eyebrows eyelids, nostrils, lips, wherever there's going to be shadows, you need that definition, eyelashes, top and bottom, alternating the lengths, hair strands, to frame her face. Cold wax with the candlestick for resist. Purple watercolor adds instant texture because it skips over the waxy areas and stains the paper where there's no wax. It's a great way to get texture when you're using watercolors drying everything, adding a lot of purple to her lids, letting it stain, and then using the brush to sop it up. Using gel pen and Jane's finishing line pen, coloring in her irises with watercolor, adding the blue to her lips as well, and then adding the fuchsia to her lips with the watercolor. Blue to her upper lids. 
brown to her eyebrows. Watercolor is dry, lighter, so you have to go over them several times. This is chalk pastel in like a gray, just to add some shadows to her eyes. And now I'm using diluted cream acrylic to go over her complexion and then pan pastel to go over her complexion. And here I added red to her cheek, which I remove later. So you could see how the wax resist is working with that blue. Adding some purple, some fuchsia. And I just really love the way that wax resist works. Instant texture with that watercolor. It's amazing. You have fuchsia, you have that red right there. You see a lot of texture. Pink, a lot of blue right there. And you can see that I am kind of limiting the blue to the middle on either side. And I'll do some markings on the blue. Here I'm just contouring around the nose, the watercolor, then the pan pastel, then the pen. So color, contouring, and detailing and on the lips, the eyes. More color in the irises. More color on the lips. And now with the precision bottle, I'm adding some dots to mostly to the blue. And eye shine, a little more dots, a few more dots. And now with a sponge, I am using a bright pink to go over similar colors and her lips. This is Creatology washable paint for kids. And it's very gelatinous. And I like to use it because it is very translucent. This is Jane Davenport's soft crayon stick. Adding some orange to her lid, her nose. And now I am adding black lines to her hair, which is really important because you need to add the contrast. You need the black with all those colors. And the lines also add definition. Otherwise, it's just uh, color blocks. And I love the way the lines look. They're fun to do. They look great. They also add energy to the piece. I mean, the colors add energy as well, but it's a different kind of energy. Chaos. It's chaos. <laughs> I love chaos. So I'm adding some fuchsia to that eye, more lines, thinner, more chaotic. Thicker in some areas. And then this was a little nerve wracking along her jaw. And here I'm doing scribbles. So in addition to all of the lines, I'm doing little scribbles like right there and right there. I love scribbles. I love doodling. I love hair strands. This is black pan pastel and I add a lot to her eyes. I even go over the colors that I added before. And then I remove half of it so I get a smoky eye look. So I'm blending, removing, and blending at the same time. 
And here I wasn't happy with what I did, so I went over it with the pink and the orange, and then I hit it with water, and it was just too much, so I ended up removing it. But I went up right here um, on her forehead, and that is the only part that made it to the end, made the cut. It was an easy fix. This is the first phase of the fix. This is a light pink called uh, seashell, so I'm sponge, sponging it. And then went over the seashell pink first with diluted cream acrylic and then cream pan pastel. So it's almost like adding compressed powder to your foundation. It sets it and now her complexion is like porcelain. Here I'm working the lines in her eyes again. And this is a security ink roller. So I am adding depth and contrast, more black to the hair. And here I am adding diluted black acrylic all along her jawline, the side of her face. So her face kind of pops adding some uh, contouring to her neck area, eyebrows. And this is the wow factor. I cut three holes in the paper and painted it black. And here I'm just adding some lines to get some shadows and adding a line around that part that made the cut. Some more diluted black acrylic for some shadows and contrast. She's looking a little bit like Catwoman. Mysterious. So I trimmed it and added a butterfly on top of it. This is soft pastel and then hit it with diluted black acrylic and it stained and then rubbed it in and then with the dry cloth wiped it all away and you can see what's stuck so to speak and then went over all of the marks with a black gel pen and I love the way that looks. And now the last wow factor, a single strand of hair over her eye and last step, touching up her lipstick and she is done. Here she is out of those bright white lights. You can see the intensity of those colors, all of the textures and the markings. I love the way this piece turned out. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you have any questions about my process or materials, which I've detailed below, leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will because I upload regularly. Until the next video, take care. I'll see you soon.